Hello guys, today we will discuss the most important topic. When the concrete is poured, we have to cure it. Otherwise, the cracks develops in it and it looks very weird. For the civil engineers, curing of concrete is a very important essential, essential topic. So, if I say or people say, can curing of concrete be done without water? You will say not. But yes, we can. So the answer is yes. We can cure concrete without water. The reasons I will specify below. First of all, un understand the concept of curing of concrete. So the main principle of uh, curing of concrete is the pore water required for the hydration of cement should not be lost should not be lost due to evaporation that means the presence of moisture on the surface of the concrete should not be lost when the concrete is poured so that it should get hardened with its required setting time so what is the purpose of curing curing to maintain the moisture in the concrete to maintain moisture to maintain moisture in the concrete to gain the strength of the concrete to prevent the loss of moisture from the surface of the concrete sufficient water should be in concrete so that the reaction between the water and the cement should take place that we will say hydration is there if temperature will increase in, uh, inside the concrete surface so water evaporates and concrete becomes dry and to prevent to control the temperature in the concrete and to prevent the dryness of concrete we do curing of concrete now there are some areas where concrete can be cured without water because there is a shortage of water and economically we cannot spend too much money on the curing of concrete so there are other methods I will mention here so what are the methods I would like to tell you that is the membrane membrane curing of under membrane we have three parts wet covering plastic sheeting and concrete curing compound so what is wet covering or moisture I will tell you in moisture curing concrete water absorbent fabrics are used in this water absorbent fabrics are used uh, to maintain the moisture on the concrete surface on the concrete surface by completely covering the surface immediately after the concrete has been poured and it has been hardened sufficiently so they must be continuously kept to wet the fabric from absorbing water from the body of concrete due to capillary action such as we use jute bags cotton bags cotton mats hessian cloth This are we underuse the wet covering. Now we will talk about the plastic sheeting. Concrete could be effectively covered with a plastic sheet so that it seals the evaporations. What is the main function? It seals the evaporation of water from concrete. 
that means a plastic sheet made from polythene film is an effective moisture retarder lightweight and can be used on horizontal and vertical surface as well as on the surface of different shape and sizes so we can use plastic sheeting or now comes up with the concrete curing compound it is a thin liquid membrane the third liquid membrane applied on the concrete surfaces and it retards the evaporation from the concrete surface your evaporation losses so we apply different types of uh, concrete compounds chemical compounds that retards the evaporation loss and second method is application of heat if i talks about the application of heat this is the first and this is the second application of heat or you can say steam curing steam curing under steam curing we have two option steam curing with ordinary pressure and this will be at high pressure so steam curing is another way so in steam curing what we do in steam curing strength gain of concrete accelerated by supplying heat and in ordinary so we will name it as op and high pressure so when concrete subjected to high temperature it accelerate the hydration process hence in resulting faster strength we are accelerating the hydration process so faster development of strength now if we comes up with the steam curing at any pressure steam curing at any pressure is generally done in enclosed room it is done in enclosed room to minimize the heat losses and moisture and this method of curing is often carried out for prefabricated concrete element especially pre stressed concrete in pre stressed concrete we use only this method now we will talk about steam curing at high pressure this method is something different from ordinary steam curing this method curing is carried out in a closed chamber closed chamber instead of enclosed room and superheated steam at high temperature and high pressure is applied on the concrete it is also known as autoclaving what we call as autoclaving in autoclaving the autoclaving process is practiced in curing precast concrete the factory such as lightweight concrete products so these are the methods we use for the curing of concrete without the use of water i hope you like the video please bell on the icon and most on the other topics i will also discuss how to cure concrete with water also and with uh, very different pictures and detail more topic i will discuss this was topic if we cure concrete without water many of the people ask me so i upload the video i hope you like the video please like and subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notification from my youtube channel thank you very much